Hi, this is Mr. Williams from the Art and Design Department at Sammy Ward Academy. I'd like to introduce you to the PrEP Learning site if you're not familiar with it already. Um, it's an opportunity to be able to work from home um, and to be able to see the very best uh, exemplars of coursework, uh, studies by external artists and by alumni. So let me take you through it. It's very easy to get onto. You do have to be a member of our VLE, um, so students and parents at Sammy Ward Academy have access to this. So let's start with how you get to it. So you would put in on the computer Sammy Ward in a search engine. Then you click on students. Click on VLE login. This is in the third column along. Then there's a grey bar at the top and in it it says student resources so we need to click on that. And that will take us to the red column in the centre of the screen. And you'll want to be looking at the first one, which is Art Design Prep Learning. So this is the sixth form site. But in particular, in this video, we're going to be looking at the top which is Art and Design Prep Learning. This is for Key Stage 4. So this is for Year 10 and Year 11. And we recommend that you go onto the site at least once a week because absolutely everything that you need to be able to be successful in this subject has been placed on this site. So if we scroll down, the first thing you'll see is a video we've made about the principles of classical painting. And then below that, we have uh, paperwork and timetables um, and pamphlets and uh, downloadable booklets um, for Key Stage 4 GCSE. There is also some work here for the sixth form, although, as, as you've just seen, they do have their own dedicated site. But the main body uh, of information is kept in these three columns. In the first one, we've got exemplar work journals and world exhibitions. So these are the top contemporary exhibitions uh, from 2019 and 2020. But if we were to scroll down, you'll also find that we've got language uh, used in art and design terminology for critical thinking and writing uh, in terms of evaluating on the work of other people. Then below that we have sketchbooks. Now these are all level 9 sketchbooks and they're A-level sketchbooks. Now you might ask why we're looking at A-level sketchbooks in the GCSE, but I think to, uh, to see the very best is the best starting point. And you can scroll through the books from beginning to end. And this will give you an idea of exactly what you need to create in a sketchbook to cover all the four assessment objectives from beginning to end. This is liked a lot by many students because for mindful reasons, at mindfulness reasons, it allows you to get an exact idea of how much work needs to be covered over the course of a year. You'll notice that the books vary in style. We did that deliberately so that uh, hopefully there's one style in particular that you're uh, attracted to uh, and may get influenced by. So if we leave that now and go to the middle column. Now our middle column uh, we are lucky enough to be able to collect uh, many people who've left this school and are now working in careers in art and design. And um, our alumni collection is, is well over 200 now. But the ones that we put in this column are ones that the students at the moment, in our present year uh, 11, uh, liked the most. The first one in particular you'll be familiar with from the younger years uh, because this is Jardin Sage, who's one of the main animators, winning six BAFTAs now, uh, who worked on Adventure Time and many of the CBB programmes. And then in the final third column, we've collected together a series of how-to videos and some information about artists talking about their work, and also some videos which explain career pathways that you might want to go on to take later when you leave um, Samuel Ward Academy. Please take time and have a look around all of the things that are here. We'd like to think that everything is there that you need to successfully proceed on our courses, 
But if there is anything you would like us to upload or write about, please email me at nwilliams at samuelward.co.uk and we will do our best to make sure that we can find a way of supporting you with that. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.